This E3 2015 coverage is brought to you by Senshudo TV, Apog, Cinch Gaming, and Gamers. Okay, so we're here with Cyberif, taking a look at, uh, well, I think you can see for yourself a quite interesting piece of kit right here. And kind of intimidating when someone's pointing a VR gun right at your face. But, <laughs> uh, can you tell us a little bit about exactly what we're seeing here? Okay, what you're seeing in front of you is the Virtualizer, which is a virtual reality locomotion device that allows you to get your own body into the virtual world. So what our device can do is it tracks where you want to walk to, how fast you do it, where your body is oriented, if you're crouching, if you're jumping, and it has also a functionality which is very unique called decoupling. So you can move, you have an independent moving direction and a viewing direction, which is really important for the whole immersive virtual reality experience. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's probably one of the things that has been missing from a lot of other solutions in this area before. So do you find that there's less cases of people getting the, the nausea that some people r report with the VR headsets? Yeah, absolutely, to be honest. Uh, we never had any complaints in the virtualizer, and that makes sense, to be honest, because a motion sickness mostly stems from the discrepancy of what you are seeing and in terms of what your body feels you are doing. The balance system is kind of off, so it feels you've been, you've been poisoned and therefore you get sick. Yeah. But in the virtualizer, there's no discrepancy anymore because your actual body movements reflect what you're seeing in the virtual world. So therefore, the motion sickness is eliminated, which is probably the best, <laughs> best thing that could happen. Absolutely. And how do you see this being implemented? Do you see it being done as any game, plug it in and it works? Or do you feel that games that are specifically made to work with this would work better? Okay, so there are different cases. I mean, virtual reality games uh, have to be suitable for head-mounted display. That's the most important part. If they are working with a head-mounted display like the Oculus Rift, we can emulate controller and keyboard input. So therefore, our device will work with the game. But you can also integrate our SDK, our software development kit, and then you get the full functionality of the virtualizer, and then you will have achieved the, the most awesome results. Okay, wonderful. So basically, any game that will work with a VR headset, uh, you'll be able to just let it map directly into user controls. That's great. So nice and wide open. So where are you in the production process with this? Or is this something that's going to be available soon, available at the moment? Okay, so we did a Kickstarter campaign last year in August, which was successful. We sold a lot of devices there. And we started our pre-order just one day ago. Okay. So we're expecting shipment at the end of this year for the devices. Development is almost finished, production is starting, so therefore we're expecting it to ship at the end of this year. Wonderful. And if people were looking to grab one for themselves, where would they go and what's your price point? Currently we're selling it only through our web shop, which you can find at www.cyberif.com. And we're selling it for 1,500 euros at this point. Okay, the traditional euros, I like it. <laughs> and then finally, uh, obviously, you know, you, you're kind of involved with like the forefront of new technology here, more or less. What else on the show floor is getting you excited this year? Well, okay, I must admit, I didn't have the chance to see too much because we're quite busy right. here at our own booth. But uh, the one thing that really impressed me and talking with other guys as well is the Oculus Rift, the new one. The consumer version, especially with the motion controllers, right. uh, that is really something impressive and we're really looking forward to the release of that. Wonderful stuff. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to me.